Hey guys, Dan C. Bearded here, coming to you from the bathroom with all the acoustics and video you know and love. But I'm in the middle of my morning routine. We just got back from a vacation recently. And I literally just decided there's something I do about once a month that I wanted to show you guys. And it just dawned on me. I was like, I've never talked about this. I've never done this. And it's my mustache reset. Now I will explain. I like to go with what I call the lazy walrus mustache style. You guys can look that up. I have trim videos, styling videos, but essentially I use heat to get the mustache going off to the side. Well, my mustache is one of the trickiest parts of my beard and it likes to give me all sorts of problems. One of the biggest problems is I start to get this like wicked curve, that little S curve that goes in and goes out again. And a lot of times it wants to do that natural handlebar, right? I know a lot of you love that. It's just not my thing. I like it to more drop into the beard and not have a big indent. If I continue to go with my normal styling, it just makes the problem worse. It's not going to magically fix itself. So when it builds up, I guess about once every month where I'm just like, ah, I can't take this anymore, I do a reset. And it's actually pretty simple, but I wanted to demonstrate and kind of just put this idea out there for you guys. So I use a heated brush. This is not sponsored by them. They don't know I'm making this video. You guys know the deal. Uh, but this is the Everlight Go 2 because everyone is going to ask that doesn't know. And I use this every single day. Now on my reset, I do turn it up a little bit and I go to, I don't know if it's going to pick up here, the light is a little bit weak on here, but I go to 360. Now I think everyone's safe under 365. I like to stay around 320, but on the reset, I go a little bit higher, 360. And essentially, instead of brushing my mustache off to the side and continue to deal with this, I'm going to bring everything straight down and slow. So I'm going to kind of go into a traditional walrus to straighten those hairs out and then bring them off to the side. I'll demonstrate what I mean here, guys. And don't judge. I usually do this in other areas, too. I can kind of show you guys. Do not push down on the chin too much. Find the chin and then keep going. You don't want that indent. All right. So notice again, I'm taking the hairs and I'm going down. This also helps with those pesky hairs at the top that want to go up and tickle your nose. Uh, not fun. And if you hear a little pop like I had there, I'm sweating. I even have a little tissue. It's warm in here. That's just water reacting with the, the heating mechanism. <laughs> and if you hear any yelling and screaming, my kids are just playing, having fun, being happy, being healthy. <laughs> they didn't know I was filming. I didn't know I was filming. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now that these hairs are straight and you don't have that wicked indent, I should be able to get them off to the side now. It might not be perfect, pardon me, let me blot, I think that's what it's called, pardon me, but let me, it might not be perfect, but we'll see how it looks. And then I go in and I like to separate the mustache with my fingers. Sometimes I'll go in with the comb. All right, good, I'll take that. So that is my mustache reset. Once it starts causing too many problems and doesn't want to cooperate, whether it's doing the same thing on both sides or it's just one side isn't playing ball, I just go in with that usually about once a month and it will usually even lay better the next day 
even better than today. So let me know down below, you guys, your observations, your thoughts, your comments, your questions, anything you guys are wondering or want to share, please do. Thank you guys for watching today. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.